Um, while we're out here, another activity in um, the flying water is called avian antics. And this is kind of my own. Um, you can really pull birds into just about every discipline. And so we're going to pull our PE teachers um, into the world of birds and get them working with the kids. And of course, this big initiative now to get kids moving. Um, and there's many different ways you can do this activity. This is my spin again on the activity called avian antics. That's in the flying wild guide. So we are going to do our bird exercises. And you must <laughs> in shape like the birds. So I need everybody to stand like a penguin. Penguins are not, of course, native to Texas, but all kids know Spread how to out. stand like a penguin. Okay. Penguins do not fly in the sky. They fly under water. So I have this little picture I show, I show the kids in my classes of the penguin. And penguins have pretty stiff wings, so I need everybody to give me some stiff wings. And you're going to bend over and pretend you're zooming about 30, 40 miles an hour through the water, trying to catch your fish very, very fast. Getting our backs all limbered off. Getting our bird exercise. Okay, Pen penguin standing. Penguin swimming. Penguin standing. Swimming. Standing. Okay. <laughs> Everybody in Houston, young and old, loves to watch the turkey vultures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> vultures, and this is a way that you can get bird knowledge while you're having fun. Turkey vultures are diurnal. Active during the day, they soar on rising warm air that we call <coughs> thermals. So they don't like to flap once they get up into the sky. But they make the letter V with their wings. This is my personal favorite exercise. So we're going to tip and soar like a vulture on this beautiful day. Again, this is my favorite part. Vulture soaring. Penguin swimming. <laughs> vulture. Bird exercises. Penguin swimming. Vulture. Okay, big ones. Flat wings. So we're gonna just go like this. We're gonna kind of, kind of move like this. We're we're looking with our eagle eyes for a fish or a dead animal, something good to eat. We're gonna be a vulture. Now. We're gonna be an eagle, penguin, vulture, eagle, vulture, eagle, penguin, vulture. Okay. Now, if we're lucky, while we're out here, we might see this bird flying overhead. This is an osprey. Ospreys are fish eaters, and they make the letter M with their wings. And we're just going to pretend that we're diving for fish. Get our deep knee bends in. Dive for fish like an osprey. We're going to soar like a vulture, like an eagle, like a vulture. Dive like an osprey. Swim like a penguin. Vulture, my favorite. Eagle, osprey. Vulture, eagle, vulture, osprey, <laughs> penguin, vulture. <laughs> penguin, Sam. So, another bird we might see today, kids will recognize, are the woodpeckers. The woodpeckers <laughs> flap, obviously, but when they're flapping and flying, they fly like they're on a roller coaster. A little like that. So, we're going to flap our wings and we're going to go up and down because we're on a roller coaster. We are woodpeckers today. So let's go up and down. We're flapping as hard as we can. We're going to soar like a vulture. We're going to dive like an osprey. We swim like a penguin. Vulture. Woodpecker. We're on a roller coaster. Keep going. Don't slam into that tree. Vulture. Eagle. Vulture. My favorite. Woodpecker. You're on a roller coaster. Penguin. Okay, we're getting our bird exercises in. All right, penguin standing. The hardest one is yet to come. <laughs> What's one thing that a hummingbird can do that nobody else can do? Hover. And fly backwards. So, hummingbirds flap their wings 70, 80 times every second. One of the things that you can do in the guide is have the kids count how many times they can flap in 10 seconds and compare that to the wing beats of other birds. If you could flap your arms as fast as a hummingbird, your bo internal body temperature would reach 750 degrees and you would burst into flames. <laughs> That's how much heat they produce, flapping that fast. But we're just gonna pretend. So I want everyone to go like this, and we're gonna go hummingbird backwards. Hummingbird forwards, putting the feet are hummingbird backwards. Hummingbird forwards, we're gonna be a vulture. And we're gonna die for fish. And go back to vulture, eagle, woodpecker, you're on a roller coaster. Hummingbird backwards. 
Finger forwards. Penguins are swimming. Vulture. Eagle. Vulture. Eagle. Osprey. Vulture. <laughs> Penguin. Woodpecker. You on a roll, Okay. Here comes the hard one. Oh, no. oh, that was a <laughs> okay, now this is not a native bird, but everyone is familiar with the flamingo. Uh huh. Stand on one leg. So that's how. If, and you ask the kids, everyone stand like a flamingo likes to stand like you see in the zoo. But flamingos do not stand on their feet. This is the bird's toes. His foot is this long structure right here. So you have to stand on your toes, on, which is much harder. <laughs> To do. So, everyone, flamingo on your left, flamingo on your right, up on your toes. Let's go back to vulture. Okay. Love the vultures. Eagle. Vulture. Osprey. Dogfish. Hummingbird backwards. Hummingbird forwards. Woodpecker. You're on a roller coaster. Penguin. Swimming 33 miles an hour. Vulture. Yeah, can you get that like on Cornell or someplace? Oh, yeah. 